Uh, I just wanted to introduce people a little bit to the Iowa language. Um, the Iowa tribe was uh, located in the state of Iowa. The reservation today is, well actually there's two. One is in uh, Kansas, Nebraska, and the other is in Oklahoma. Um, the Iowa language is related to, is part of the Siouan language family, so it's related to Lakota, um, Omaha, Winnebago, and other languages of that family. The language itself is pretty much gone as far as native speakers, all the elders have passed away now. Um, there are a few people who speak a little bit of it, um, some more than others. Um, I speak a little myself. And so I just wanted to uh, introduce people to the language a little bit, <clears throat> teach a few words, um, and just kind of give this um, acknowledgement and honoring of, of the language. Uh, I'm a member of the tribe myself, so what I have here today is are some toys. And um, I thought what we might do is find a name for some of these toys in Iowa. Um, this one can see it is a fox. Um, the Iowa name for fox is Misteke. 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 And uh, here we have a deer. A deer is called Ta. Ta. Now this is a doe. It's a female deer. Uh, and so the word for a doe is Taminye. Taminye. A doe. A doe deer. Taminye. This is a horse, Shunye, Shunye, Shunye. Um, the Oto language calls it Sunge, Sunge. The Iowa and Oto languages are very related, but there are some differences. So when I know the differences, um, when I remember them, tell you. So, Iowa, Shunye, Oto, Sunye. Uh, che. It's a buffalo. Now, this is a calf buffalo. It's a baby buffalo. And so, it would be called Che Inye. Che Inye. Can you tell this is a beaver? See, there's the flat tail. He's got some sticks in his mouth. Uh, this is a beaver, and in uh, Iowa, they call it Thinye Brache. Thinye Brache. Thinye. Is a tail. Umbrake means flat, the flat tail. That's so why they call it Dini uh, Now, um, in Oto, the word for a beaver is Rawe. Rawe. So in Iowa, Dini Brake, and Oto is Rawe. Okay, we got a baby bear. This is a grizzly bear. There were different names for grizzly versus a black bear. And uh, of course in Iowa country, which was in Iowa, the uh, black bear was much more common, being a creature of the woodlands. But the grizzly bear did get down through the plains before they were wiped out uh, in that area. Now they're 
in Montana um, and the Rockies where I am now. But the word for a grizzly bear is mato, mato. So if this is a grizzly cub, it would be mato inye. Inye meaning small or a young thing like that. So grizzly bear, mato, grizzly bear cub, mato inye. Rabbit, cottontail, cottontail rabbit. Mischinye, mischinye. In Oto is mischinge, mischinge in Oto. Um, the rabbit was a culture hero. There are many stories of rabbit, sort of like, you know, um, Br'er Rabbit. Um, and he had done a lot of things for mankind including bringing us the tobacco, or actually uh, saving us the tobacco. There's a story about that. Iowa, Mischinye, Oto, Mischinye. Um, okay, it's a donkey. They call the donkey Nanto Kwanye, or Nanto Kanje. But basically, they're talking about the ears. Ears being nanto or nandwa. You hear it sometimes too. Nandwa or nandwanginge. Oh, nando khanje. Sorry, big ears. See if we got any other toys. Okay. This one is an Indian man. So a man is Wanye in Iowa, Wanye in Oto, it's Wange. Wange or Wanye. And uh, he's a dancer. He's dancing. They call it Washi. Washi. So if this man was dancing and say Wanye washike. K is a sentence, um, a particle, like to be something. So if you're saying this man is dancing, you'd say Wanye washike. Or je this. Je wanye washike. I think we're about out of toys here. Now, uh, this is an Indian guy. This is a prospector. He's a white guy. See the beard and everything? Um, like, ha. <laughs> anyway, this guy um, is what they call maunke. Maunke. You hear both say maunke, maunke, depending on, you know, just how it comes out of your mouth. But the word seems to come from mave. Mave is iron. Mave. And Made uh, Unke, the people who make iron. That's what the word for white man was. Made Unke, Ma Unke. And I got more toys later. I'll do another episode. But this guy here, now he's a jester, right? And jesters, obviously, Indians didn't have jesters. But they did. But they did have clowns, um, contraries, um, the trickster. And in Iowa, the trickster, he's got a little staff here, put in his hand. The trickster would be called Ischinki. Ischinki, you may have heard the Lakota uh, version, which is Iktomi. But um, the Iowa Oto word for the trickster, for the clown, is Ischinki. Ischinki. I think that's uh, probably more than enough for this time. And I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this little introduction to the Iowa language. And uh, we'll do another one soon, I'm sure.